Welcome back. Today we're exploring the use of data analytics in internal audit. My guest for this segment is Terry Hatherell. Terry leads our national business risk practice at Deloitte. He brings over 20 years of experience in internal audit and governance. So Terry, data analytics means different things to different people. When I speak of it, I really mean it in its broadest sense of the word. Everything from simple structured techniques all the way to more complex, predictive, unstructured techniques. Now this is really gaining some traction across a number of businesses in many areas. And now it's starting to gain a following in internal audit as well. Why do you think this is happening? Yeah, so I think part of the reason, Janet, is because data is everywhere. And organizations are using data every day to make better business decisions. The, uh, the amount of data within organizations is doubling, it. I believe the statistic is every 18 months. And so companies are looking to internal audit to leverage that information, leverage that data to provide more insight into the business. So no longer is it acceptable to us uh, as internal audit to simply focus on the past. We need to provide greater value greater insights to the business in terms of being more predictive and better insights in terms of what might happen in the future as opposed to always looking into the past. Yes, Terry, that makes complete sense. Can you give us some insight into the types of challenges internal audit is facing where data analytics might be able to help? Sure, absolutely, Janet. I would say you know, internal audit right now is clearly under the microscope and there's two key um, uh, focus areas for internal audit. One is trying to contain costs and doing more with less and the other is providing greater insights within the organization and effectively adding more value. So with respect to doing more with less, data analytics will allow us to uh, look at more data within the organization, a larger population, in fact the entire population, versus simply sampling and will allow us to get out there and do a lot more than we would have otherwise been able to do without leveraging technology. The second in terms of adding more value, Often, um, if there's a control breakdown within the organization, management will turn to internal audit and say, where was internal audit? How come you didn't detect it? Uh, in the environment where we're leveraging uh, data analytics, it allows us to provide greater insights and more forward-looking perspectives to prevent those issues from happening in the first place. So we, as internal audit, aren't always trying to substantiate why we didn't detect the issue. So the more that we can provide feedback into the organization, greater insights from the perspective of foresight as opposed to hindsight, Site, I think we'll be better positioned as internal audit and ultimately add greater value. That's right. Analytics can help address those challenges. And I like the point you made around the fact that analytics is more than just about testing. That it can be used in the upfront phase to really focus your area around risk to make sure that your planning is focused in the areas of greatest risk to the organization. It can help with the extent of testing during field work, but it also brings about enhanced reporting at the end as well. So based on that, do you see a role for analytics being embedded into the core internal audit methodology? So I do, right? And, and so if we look at typically the internal audit process, we might spend 30% of our time in scoping in the upfront risk assessment, 50% in the field work, and 20% in the actual reporting. With data analytics, what we're seeing, and I strongly believe, is that shifts. And so we spend maybe 50 to 60% of the time upfront in the scoping and the risk assessment to really make sure we're getting at the risk areas. Ultimately, if we're going to be effective in the organization, and we're actually are going to add value and be relevant, we need to make sure we're focused on the right areas. So I do believe internal audit uh, needs to embed data analytics into its methodology and I do see as part of that a shift in terms of more upfront planning and scoping to make sure we really are focused on the right areas. So in addition to increasing the value, if we're spending more time in the upfront planning and less time in the field work, it seems to me like an opportunity for cost savings to do things more efficiently. I do, I think so, right? Because if we're focused on the right areas, as opposed to just in there, sort of broad brush, scatter, trying to hit on everything within the organization, whether or not it's important, if we can do a better job of getting to those uh, areas that are truly of risk and of interest to the organization, then ultimately it should reduce the amount of uh, effort and make sure that that effort is focused in the right areas. So I know that critics to the use of data analytics and internal audit suggest that it's difficult to get started and it's difficult to gain traction across the internal audit plan. I know that in dealing with my own clients, I've seen where they've had some success, where they start with an area where they're bound to find something. Something like controllable costs or expense claims, where you can sample 100% of the underlying population and identify areas for cost savings. 
Have you seen something similar in your own client base? So I have. I think those aspects of data analytics have been around for a few years now and really are table stakes. Yes. So effective internal audit departments need to leverage data. And the example you shared around expenses, I think, is a, is a good one in that um, historically internal audit departments may have taken a random sample or a judgmental sample of, uh, of, uh, of the population of expenses and, and, and performed their work and the procedures and, and so forth. Over the past few years, we've certain, certainly seen a proliferation of using data and data analytics, for example, Benford's Law, mm -hmm. and accessing the entire population, running some data analytics scripts on the data to really target the work and target the effort into those areas where we think potentially there may be some problems. That aspect, I think, is table stakes. The more advanced internal audit departments, those that are truly highly effective, are more evolved in their use of data analytics. So, for example, a large resources company uh, using data analytics to help help assess and evaluate safety risk. So for example, training hours, preventative maintenance hours on machinery, vacation, those are all data sets, data elements that might seemingly be uncorrelated, which with the use of data analytics can be brought together to establish correlations between the data elements and actually try to identify uh, what is really happening with that risk and how well that risk is being managed. Again, to provide more foresight, more insights, and less on the hindsight backward looking. That's right. And another example I've seen in my own client base is the use of data analytics to help inform the you don't know what you don't know. That is the use of complex, unstructured techniques to help identify new or emerging risks that clients can then add to their risk profile. Here at Deloitte, we do offer the range of analytic services from the simple table stakes techniques to the more complex, predictive, unstructured techniques. And more and more, we're finding organizations asking for the more complex area. So thank you for joining us today, Terry. I found your comments insightful and helpful. Thank you, Janet. My pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Here at Deloitte, we believe that the use of data analytics and internal audit is something that needs to be core to your fundamental internal audit approach. Data analytics goes far beyond just testing. It can be used for risk identification, planning, and enhanced reporting. See you next month.